Back in 2017, I was interviewing a candidate for a software engineering role at my previous company, DeuStacks. I threw a coding problem at the candidate that basically involved the flood fill algorithm, a classic algorithm straight out of the graph theory that involves a simple graph traversal. The candidate took the entire 45 minutes to code it and it was more or less a working solution with just a few small mistakes. I wanted to ask a design problem as well, but given that we had no time, I closed the interview by asking this question. Do you have any questions for me? To which the candidate shamelessly asked, what's the best time complexity in which this graph problem can be solved? This my friends is the worst question you can ever ask an interview Interviewer. In this video, I will go through the top 5 questions that you should possibly be asking to the interviewer when given a chance and why you should be asking those. And towards the end of the video, we will see how you can leave a soft influence on the interviewer by asking the right question. So what's the purpose of this question? First, you should understand that this small window that you get is very important and you should really be very picky about what you ask. This is like a golden opportunity which would be very hard to get otherwise. But at the same time, this won't really have any impact on the outcome of your interview. The purpose of this question is for you to get into the shoes of the interviewer and experience your role, as in your future role, through them. You need to be forward looking and analyze whether the work that the interviewer does in their job entices you. Are you comfortable seeing yourself doing that for the next couple of years? Does it even align with your past experience and your long-term career goals? Basically, it's an opportunity for you to extrapolate whether the things that you are looking for in a job are fulfilled by this kind of role. Now that we know the importance of this small window of an opportunity, let's see a few bad questions that you should probably skip in an interview. You should not waste your time asking direct questions about the future of the company, the future of the team, company culture and values. All of this information is kind of standard information which is more or less a Google search away. But for startups, maybe it still makes some sense. The other reason for not asking these questions is that the interviewer is just a very small part of the puzzle and won't really know what's happening in the other parts of the company and even if they do, more often they are not allowed to disclose any non-public information. So whatever you will get is mostly available already on the web. Vacation or time off is another topic that you can skip in a tech interview. <laughs> you have the recruiters or HRs to answer those, right? I would also suggest refraining from inquiring about career opportunities within the team unless the interviewer is a hiring manager. Otherwise, you might receive a less clear picture of the career prospects or maybe even a wrong one. Now, let's see what you should be asking instead. The kind of questions you should actually ask depend on the things that will impact you once you are hired and already on the job. Let's try to understand those. The first one is the role itself. The most classic questions you can ask here are, what does your day to day look like? What's the best and worst part of your job? Well, the answers to these questions will give you a very detailed insight on what the role is about and what you would be entangled with for a few upcoming years. The next we have the team. Well, we know that softwares are made by an organized group of people, which we refer to as a team. A very classic question here could be, which team would you prefer me to join if I am extended an offer? This question will serve multiple purposes. This will tell you whether or not the interviewer themselves like their team and what are the other good teams that you can think of joining instead. You can also investigate more like the reasoning and well, what is it that the interviewer actually like or dislike. Next, we have the project itself, as in the project you will be working on. While it's important to know what the team does and its impact, but for engineers, it's even more important to know how it's done. The most direct question here could be, what technologies and tools do you use? Am I expected to know, let's say, Spring Boot before even I join? So questions like this will give you a good insight into what kind of uh, like tools and technologies the team uses and whether you are a good fit for them. Next, we have career growth. You of course want to know what your career growth will look like if you join this particular team. The most important question that you can ask the hiring manager is, how is the work divided among the team members and what's the average time for promotion to SD2, SD3 in your team? Well, these are like very direct questions, but you know what? These, these are the things that matter. And this is what you should be asking. Let's see how these questions can have a soft influence on the interviewer. As I mentioned before, the kind of questions you ask the interviewer won't really make or break your case. Having said that, if you are a defense, let's say you just made it to the end, were able to code the problem, but maybe not in the most optimal way, and the interviewer hasn't made up their mind yet. 
In this case, asking professional yet personal questions can really roll the dice in your favor. Dale Carnegie in his book, How to Win Friends and Influence People, has this really interesting fact. You can make more friends in two months by becoming interested in other people than you can in two years by trying to get other people interested in you. I'm sure you're not hearing it for the first time. That's like the crux of the book as well. So questions like, what do you do on a day-to-day -day basis? What's the most critical thing you care about during code reviews? What's the most critical thing you look for when reviewing a software design? Or what's the best code you ever wrote? These questions will really make the interviewer think about the best things of their work life, which can end up leaving a soft, positive influence on them. And on this note, I want to leave a positive influence on you. I would want to hear your most interesting interview story, either as an interviewee or as an interviewer. Uh, just add a summary in the comment section. If I like it, I will invite some of you for a future video to discuss that in even more detail. Uh, my name is Gaurav, you were watching 100GB and I will see you in the next one. Bye.